Hey guys, Top Tech Tips here, and today I'll be showing you about a program called TuneUp Utilities. So this is a great program. You can download a 30-day trial, and once you install it, it will look like this here. So when you launch it, it has something called Turbo Mode. You can turn that on. It it helps your computer run faster, but it turns a lot of appearance effects off. And uh, it also has one-click maintenance, so you can just click right here, and it will this here will pop up and it will automatically scan your computer to find any fixes. And usually it will find a lot of fixes like for the registry and uh, it has a lot of, it actually makes your computer quite a bit faster especially if you're on an older machine and it's fairly quick too. So as you see here one click maintenance it already found 66 problems in my registry and uh, it normally finds about 100 problems in your registry from 50 to 100 unless you haven't ran it in a while. Right here, broken shortcuts, there's four problems. You can also click show details, so it will tell you them. And you can also show like details right here, and it just tells you. And then if you don't want it to do, you just have to uncheck it. So like you can hide the recommendation. I usually like to have them all though. And then just run maintenance, and it will fix it just like that. Um, that's the maintenance part. There, there's also you can do the functions yourself so the things we just saw do all at once you can do it yourself right here and uh, under your performance part you can configure quite a bit of stuff in here so you can do all the system start you can display and uninstall programs gain disk space you can do a lot of stuff with this uh, right here I'll show you the system start it will normally load up just one second it will load up with all your system start but in a really easy to use interface so uh... it even tells you what's necessary and unnecessary on startup and it will give you like optional like right here itunes helper it's unnecessary but it's enabled right now so or it's disabled right now and uh... that's basically what that is uh... there's there's a problem right here like it'll fix problems automatically for you I'll show you here so you can manage running programs and um, check disk hard disk for errors that one's pretty good fix common problems that's only good if you think you have a problem and uh, you can restore deleted files it doesn't work too well like sometimes you can't restore the file but most of the time it works and then another cool effect that I found was right here you can when you select anything it will actually change the highlight color so to do that you just want to go to change and windows appearance and then it will load up with something like this here actually no this is your login screen you can change your login screen with this so instead of having to do like I showed you in a, my previous video you can just click right here and you can click add or create new and then you have a whole bunch of effects you can change the background you can change the alignment and uh, then just click save and it will set it that's that's the nice feature about the uh, styler and then if you go modify windows settings and then when it loads you want to go to folder options or sorry file types and uh, right here under folder options click selection and then highlight selection rectangle so just cl click on that and uh, just click change and you can choose your color so you can choose black orange yellow green really anything and then there's also like other things you can do so change how fast the address bar blinks uh... you can show compressed zipped archives whatever uh... there's also input options so like mouse functions mouse sensitivity bunch of stuff like that so you can choose how much you scroll uh... you can choose to swap your mouse buttons basically it's just giving you all the windows options in one little program it's really uh... useful and you can also do like taskbar flashing you can change the options so when an icon flashes down here and you can even have it to set for a certain amount of time for it to flash and then at the bottom here there's a whole bunch of system and security stuff and uh... yeah that's it i like the user login because you can change a few things like automatic login and prevent skipping the login procedure by pressing the shift key and there's a whole bunch of safety stuff here you can oh another cool thing you can do is uh... Windows login messages. So if you go into system or user login, sorry, and then go to messages, and when you log in, before you before you even get to the login screen, it will give you an option to put in a message. So 
it says right here, welcome to Windows 7. Please do not use my computer without my permission. It's just so my family don't doesn't use my computer. And uh, you can also do like detailed status message for if there's problems with your login and log off. But other than that, it's a nice program. Uh, thanks for watching. I know this was a long video. And uh, sorry it's so late for the uploading. I've had problems with my internet for the past few weeks, actually. And, uh, yeah, thanks.